All right, everyone, welcome back. We found this lovely little slipway here today. Van's parked up there. I'm just gonna put in down here, so easy. <laughs> you couldn't really do this with any other boat, but it worked for the sib. Hell of a lot of flow coming through that bridge there. <sighs> but man, what a beautiful day it is. All right, let's get the wheels off of this and get her out there. And it's just one of those lovely, clean, crisp mornings out here. Got a little bit of a breeze, but man, that water is so clear. It's amazing. I don't think the GoPro is going to pick it up, but it is so clear. It's going to be some awesome lure fishing conditions. It's the same, the same can't be said about this boat this morning being clean. It's a bit filthy. <laughs> That's just me using it a lot though. I mean, I do give it a wash off after every use, of course. But um, yeah, it's starting to get a bit dirty. A little bit of breeze, we'll see. I wanted to go out to the Eddy Stone today, but I'm not going out there if it's windy. Um, I'm just gonna stay in close. But yeah, I don't know, I'm just looking forward to it. We'll find fish either way, whether we go a long way out or we stay in close. We'll see what the sea stays doing when we get out there. But um, yeah, it's just such a nice day to be out. I love it, I love it so much. Okay, I'm looking around me here and it's so flat. It's just tempting me to go out to the Eddie Stone. I can't really resist on a day like today. There's not a lot happening in shore here. I've had a few casts and I'm not getting a bite. So I'm just gonna head out and uh, see what's happening out there, I think. We've got everything packed for a full day. We've got 15 liters, no, sorry, 17 liters of fuel on board. So we'll get there and back, no problem. And it's gonna be some nice conditions. We're just cruising at that sort of 18 knots. Perfect for getting out there in good time. And yeah, we'll see what's happening. Hopefully it doesn't stay too cloudy like this. The sun comes out, that'd be really nice. And don't forget to stick around to the end of the video where I'll be doing a giveaway, giving back to you guys, the people that support me the most. Thank you, thank you for that. And uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Let's get out there, let's get to the Eddy Stone. Hey, I generally have no idea why there are so few boats out here today when it's so perfectly flat. Usually there'd be like a swarm of commercials fishing around this rock over here. But uh, yeah, pretty much got the place to myself, which I'm not complaining about. It just makes me wonder um, if there's like word going around that there's not many fish here. So yeah, there's that, but we'll see. I'm sure we can find some. So yeah, there we go out at the stone on a quiet day. Lovely. Not a lot shown on the sound at the moment, but I'm just gonna start shelving up. So we'll go out with the crazy paddle tail, I think and uh, see what we can find ourselves. Yeah, hoping for bass really, but you know, it's not that simple, is it? It's not that simple. And the thing is, is there's definitely more to catch here than just bass. Like the pollock fishing can be insane. And there's also cod that get caught here quite a bit. So yeah, there's definitely, uh, definitely more than one option to try today, but we're gonna focus on the bass wait for that tide to start flooding properly and then I'm sure the, uh, the sort of outlook will be a little bit better it's just so still at the moment so still but it's a beautiful day to be out here just thought I'd come in with a little bit of tide pushing through the two lumps here and just thought I'd work that tide I'm gonna quick retrieve with the crazy paddle tail see if there's anything ambushing because it's so still today I think these sort of areas where there's a bit of movement. It's gonna be where I got a better chance of a bite. It's not long until this is all gonna be undercovered, exposed. We're fishing the outgoing tide right now. It's cool though, cool to get this close to the lighthouses. I don't know how they would get on and off of them in big seas. It's something very, very scary. Maybe they had the sib like this. <laughs> so clear that water, man. Amazing. Okay, we've just had a nice take right by the, <laughs> the lump there. Just working a crazy paddle tail really slow. It's a nice take, that. <laughs> oh, I think it's a pollock, maybe? No bass. It's a little bass. That was a good take, though. Right in close to the rock, really slow retrieve. I knew I'd have to work hard for this fish today. Oh, it's the first one on the board. Just a little schooly, but beautiful nonetheless. On that crazy paddle tail, nice and slow in close. Let's just 
pop that hook out. Nice fish. Good one to start the day. Things can only get better. Sweet. Crazy. Well, I've been moving around the rocks here, just looking for like the ambush points. And uh, there's so many seals around today. <laughs> I've had a few knocks actually, which is interesting. You know, it's interesting when you actually get knocks and not full on slams. It makes me wonder if they're little pollock <clears throat> or just apprehensive bass. But uh, yeah, it's really quiet. Really, really quiet out here. But it's just not the volume of fish pushing through right now that you usually expect from this mark. But it all depends on the tide that's the thing like you know like you can have amazing fishing on one tide and then the next tide it can just die off completely and i don't think this is a particularly productive tide at the moment I mean, there's a few more boats around now actually that's to be said there's a few more boats around um but yeah i just haven't seen a whole lot going on i have seen the odd shoal on the sounder there so i know there's fish around but they're just not they're not feeding essentially so i think what i'm going to do is try some of the deeper water just with some slow jigs or big soft plastics see if i can grab a few pollock um just to sort of you know have, have that ticked off the list for the day and then come back here later on when the tide changes and fish the uh flood fish the incoming tide and just see if that change of tide sort of improves the fishing i mean there's no there's no sort of set set expectations but i would hope that it would get a little bit better because we've only had one bass so far so that's the uh yeah that's a fort the fort process well <laughs> we've hooked into something here on the slow pitch jig it is tiny whatever it is it literally feels like a dead weight small small fish on a big big lure in deep deep water what is it <laughs> That is a joke. <laughs> Got the size of that launch, double hooked in the back by my uh, <laughs> launch lookalike jig. That, that says it all, really. <laughs> that says it all. That's a big old launch, mind. Big old launch. Great bass bait right there. I'm just not rigged up for bass today. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. what would be really funny is to live line it, free line it. I don't even know if I'll be able to get this guy off without messing him up but there we go tiny tiny fish a big big lure let's send them back yeah seems happy uh, well it's not a not a complete failed attempt but really not what i was after in this deep water but there's a nice bit of structure right here so we'll keep fishing that another fish on the slow pitch jig another small one <laughs> Look at that, guys. It just goes to show that these lures will catch anything. That's a tiny little pollock hooked in the back, foul hooked again. Not what I wanted on the jig. That's a real small pollock right there. But it's still a fish. Ah, just getting trolled here, trolled by little fish. Oh, just dropping off that reef there. I'll do one last drop here and then move a bit closer in. I thought oh, I'll come right out to the edge of the reef and you know just see if I can pick off something bigger. But um, I've not seen as really any marks that look like fish or any fish arches on the sounder, so that's almost a giveaway that there's not a lot happening. But yeah, it's worth having a go, you know. It is worth having a go. You just don't know. I'm going to try this. Well, here we go. This is the fish that we came out here for. Something big. <laughs> Something big. I thought it was a snag at first, but it's coming up. It's not gone on any runs yet. I actually have no idea what this could be. Oh, oh. <laughs> here we go at the Eddystone Lighthouse. <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for today. A very slow day soon turns into an exciting one. This is heavy, guys. I don't know what it is. It's just not pulling down. It's just sort of dead weight. Oh, this could be a double figure fish right here. I'm expecting it to wake up in a minute, but oh, I've only really just gotten it up off the bottom. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is what I like. It's got to be worth a try on those slow pitch jigs sometimes. 
got to really be careful with this fish here. Oh, it's coming up. What is that? What is that? Right, let's get the net out. Let's get the net out. Let's get the net out. Right, oh, come on. It's a ling. It's a ling. <laughs> it's a ling. Right, come here. Come here, you beauty. <laughs> this is something that I do not catch very often. So it's a real treat. Oh. Oh. There we go, in the net. Oh. <laughs> nice. It's not a, not a big one, not a double figure like I thought. It was just hooked weirdly, hence why it wasn't fighting properly. But that has put a smile on my face. A ling out here at the Eddystone Lighthouse on the jig. Not a big one compared to many people's standards, but that's a lovely fish for me. One that I haven't caught in a very long time. So yeah, fantastic. And I think that one's gonna come back for dinner. That's a nice size for the table. So happy days, ling on the slow pitch jig. This just about sums it up today. <laughs> a launch on the crazy paddle tail. Well, there you go. <laughs> We've just had not much luck, really. Not much luck here at the Eddystone. A lovely ling to uh, to make the day for me. Nice ling. But apart from that, it has been slow. And the weather's been nice, but the fishing hasn't. So I'm left myself some time to head in and stop off at the Hands Deep Reef on my way. And yeah, just see what's happening there. I mean, it's gotta be better than this because I've, I've put in about six hours now and had a lot of launts on big lures and <laughs> not a lot else. So yeah, we'll try the Hands Deep Reef and fingers crossed it's holding something a little bit more interesting. Um, but yeah, it's just how it is sometimes. You never, you can't bank on the fish being here all the time. Uh, I'm sure there are bass i mean they're just not feeding hard like they need to be really maybe live bait would have made a difference but i couldn't be i couldn't be faffing around with it so i've just uh yeah just decided to head head in towards the hands deep reef and see what we can find there well first drop on the hands deep reef and we're into a fish on the slow pitch jig literally first drop i expect it's a pollock but this is a good sign <laughs> this is what i've been missing all day I knew it'd be worth coming here just to have a little look. Oh, fleet run at the end. Yeah, there we go. Just a little pollock, but that's a good sign. First drop on the uh, on the sidewinder Loki. And um, yeah, tiddler, but still a fish. You know, <laughs> I've not had one of those in a while. So that's a good start. Let's get straight back down. I'll show you what I'm doing. Just watching the fish find to see what sort of depth we're in. Letting all that line out. There we go, it's on the bottom. A few winds up. And now I'm just giving it some really big motions. You're gonna get the hits on the drop and it's fluttering like that. So you wanna give it as much time fluttering down through the water as you can. Sometimes just yeah, fill for the bottom and then bring it back up again. I'm trying to fish fairly close to the bottom here just because it's only 20 meters at the moment which is crazy to think that we're in the middle of the nowhere and 20 meters deep it's a real interesting reef system this i'm just doing these big big motions just feeling for that looking for that slack slack line to sort of change all of a sudden you, you sort of see it go you see it at the tension and then if it goes really slack all of a sudden you've either got a, got a hit or you've hit the bottom well, we've got another fish on the slow pitch jig. This feels like another ling almost, you know. It's just he heavy weight. <laughs> I just came over this really shallow bit. It's only 18 meters. That's why I'd be surprised if it's a ling. What is that? It's a wrasse, I think. Yeah, a wrasse. Wow. That's a beautiful one as well. 
That is a beautiful wrasse on the slow pitch jig there. Wow, have you ever seen one that colour before? Whoop! <laughs> have you ever seen a wrasse that red before? That is amazing. Stunning colours. It's like a koi wrasse. <laughs> it's when you get in a carp pond on the slow pitch jig. Absolutely beautiful that is. Wow. That just goes to show how you can really catch anything on lures. But that is a stunning fish. Let's get it unhooked and get it back. And we're back at the launch site after what has been a fantastic day on the water. And sure, the Eddy Stone didn't quite produce like I was expecting it to, but it's not always the way, is it? You don't always catch the fish that you dream of. <laughs> but it's been a lovely day. The Eddy Stone has a bit of a sentimental sort of value to me. It's something special about going out there. It just feels like a true adventure. And the XL has done exceptionally well, getting me out there and back today. And uh, yeah, I just, I'm glad, I'm glad I could share it with you. And there's something else that I want to share with you. I said there'd be a little giveaway. Now, if you hadn't heard already, I'm now a fish ambassador. And one of the perks of that is fish like to send me a few lures. And I want to share that sort of good fortune with you guys, my viewers, who have supported me to get to this stage. So what I'd like to do is put up a pack of black minnow. This is the number four 40 gram offshore and electric blue, a really nice, uh, combo there for all sorts of reef fishing and I'm going to give this one away in a week's time from, from when this video is uploaded and what I want you to do is tell me in the comments what your favourite place to go fishing is, where is your favourite, what has sentimental value to you, I want to know where you're from and what sort of areas you're fishing and uh, yeah, it's just interesting for me to find out. Make sure you're subscribed to be in with a chance of winning the giveaway and I'll announce the winner on my Instagram, but I will also pin the comment as well, so uh, the winner will know who they are. But yeah, let me know where you like to go fishing, where has sentimental value to you, and you could win this awesome pack of Black Minnow. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching as always. Go and subscribe if you haven't done so already, so that you can see the next one. It won't be long. We're we'll back out on that baby there. Yeah, been a good one. Cheers, cheers.